<laughs> what? Look, giant fish. Is that, some, is that a dinosaur? <laughs> oh, these are pictures here. Compare. Look Zoom at up that. on the face. Look at that. It's okay. So around. Keep going. Keep going. So what are we gonna do if it turns out he is DB Cooper? Did Al put the safe in the pond? What if Al is the game master? Or Al is an agent of the game master? Look at that. <laughs> what is up, adventure agents? We are up in our zombie-proof tree fort right now, and I got something super. And I got super... a stick. Oh, nice. Oh, you look pretty swag there. Pretty nice. Pretty classic. Look at this. Yep. Ha 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 by DB. Oh yeah, yeah. Ha 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 by DB Cooper. <laughs> This is a book that evidently D.B. Cooper wrote. Huzzah, huzzah. <laughs> yeah, evidently. I don't know. I have to read it all, but uh, ha ha ha, meaning I got away with it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we'll save that for later. Well, we have something big here. It's really big, really cool. I'm it's excited. Okay. It's for the tree fort. Go ahead and open it up. Tear it apart. Rip it open. Rip it open. What safe. safe, safe, sentry safe. Yeah, it's a safe. Right there, a fireproof safe for all of our adventure stuff. Yes, we have some top secret files, we have some gold, we have treasure, and we are gonna be keeping it inside of our new safe up in our tree fort up here. Let's open this thing up, okay? This will be our top secret secure file safe. We'll keep the treasure in here, we'll keep um, every, now not the big treasure, but what we'll do is, Whenever we get some treasure, we'll put it in here, like the gold coin we have. But the big treasure, I don't even want to keep it in here. It's safer buried in the ground. But this is safe enough for now. And whenever we find, maybe if we find any money or anything like that, we'll put it in here temporarily. Until we can like bury it in the ground. The ground is the best way. Ah! All right, let's open it up. Dude, this thing looks pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Is it heavy? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's super heavy. Ah. Oh yeah, check it out. Now, I don't know what the combination for the safe is gonna be. Oh. What, tell you? Yeah. Oh. Well, we're not gonna tell. I'm sorry, I wish we could tell you what the combination's gonna be, but we can't because we can trust some of you, but some people who are watching might be bad actors. Like, they might wanna come and steal stuff from our safe, so we can't really tell you what it is. I wish we could tell you. Let's see. Uh-oh, it's locked. It's locked! No! You can't get in! <laughs> okay, so we gotta figure out the combination and how to get in. Here it is. Here is the combination, but... Uh, oh! I can't show them. Can't show you. Yeah, but they might get the same safe and then figure out what the combination is. No, no, they have, a, they have a different combination for each safe they sell. Okay, so we're gonna try to crack this safe for the first time. We're gonna see if Axel and Darian can get into the safe. Rotate dial to zero, then rotate right clockwise, passing zero three times. Continue rotating until you reach the first number in your combination. So that way? <gasps> okay, I'm gonna tell you the first number. It's 98. 98, okay, that's the first number. But I can't tell anymore. Oh, so right way, right is that way, that's clockwise. Passing zero three times. Okay, so around, keep going, keep going. Okay, pass zero once, right? Keep going, keep going. Pass zero twice. Okay, keep going, keep going. No, let me do it. Oh, wait, slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Now, now it's 98, okay? So you gotta go really slow because you're gonna pass zero three times and stop at the first number. So that's 98, okay? So one, two, right there. That's 98, okay, stop. All right, so now, Axel, you do the second code, okay? Hold on, no, no, don't move the deal. You, there's three codes, okay? I can't tell you the second code, I'm sorry. Okay, rotate left counterclockwise. Go past the second number once and stop the second time. Go left, keep going. Okay, so it's right there, so keep going. You passed it once, keep going, and then stop at it. Keep going, ah, keep going, keep going. Okay, it's right there. Now, for the third number. Oh, we'll each have our number. There's three numbers, each of us has a number. Darian's 98, the first number, Axel's the second number, and I'm the third number. And we'll each remember our number. So all three of us, oh, that'll be great. All three of us have to open the safe. It'd be like, if somebody, if somebody like kidnaps one of us, 
right? Mm -hmm. Then they won't be able to get into the safe. They'll need all three of us. It's a safety mechanism. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds great. Uh, now we want to rotate right clockwise stop when we reach the third number. Okay, right when we reach the third number. Oh, can't tell you, can't tell you. Uh, dude, push down. Oh, it opened! There's something oh. in it. There's wait, something wait. in it. Oh, no, that's just a fresh pack. Yeah, there shouldn't be anything in the same. Wouldn't that be cool if there was actually treasure in here? It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. That'd be cool if you got a safe and bought it from the store and there was actually treasure already inside. Why is it cold, Daddy? <laughs> it's cold because, well, this probably holds cold temperature. Yeah. Dude, look at this. It's got its own special drawer. <gasps> this is so cool. We can keep our top secret stuff in here. Okay. I need to go get our Let's top secret files, Let's put the guinea pigs okay? in there. You want to put the guinea pigs in the safe? <laughs> no. <laughs> safe okay. keeping. Yeah, let's put them in the safe. Yeah. Put them off in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, yeah. so we have guinea... We decided we're going to name them Guinea and Pig. And Axel's making a, uh, some videos on his personal channel um, called The It'll, Adventures of Guinea and Pig. One will be coming out in either one or two okay. days. Alright. Is this Guinea? Um, yeah, this is Guinea. There you go. And then Pig. What happens uh, if they suffocate? Yeah, that's not safe. We don't want to close the door. There you go, guinea and pig. You safe like guinea safe? Well, safe kid. Yep. Mm -hmm. If anyone was ever after them, we could put them in here temporarily. No, actually, that wouldn't be a good idea. They would die really quickly. Mm. No, that wouldn't be a good idea because they would. Th this thing seals up pretty well. <laughs> so, hey, how you doing in there? <laughs> It's our guinea pig safe. All right, but in all reality, we're not going to keep them in here. So, we, we need to bolt this safe down because somebody could just come up here and take the safe, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we need to bolt the safe down to the tree fort here. Where should we bolt it down? What do you think? Yeah, but Daddy, couldn't they just cut a hole in the tree fort? Well, that would be immensely difficult. They would have to have a saw and all this crazy stuff. So, um, this is just this is just to keep it kind of safe. So, before we screw the safe into the tree, we decided actually that we were gonna put it right there, right there in this tree. We are gonna have us some Nick sticks. Thank you, Nick sticks. Grass fed beef jerky sticks. Go 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 go. Grass fed beef jerky sticks for fueling the adventures adventures. Mhm. Mm yeah. Okay. So never mind. We decided we were gonna put it right here. All right. Well. There we go. Leash. Oh my goodness, what are you doing? A guinea leash. I still have a leash on that. Is that, is that tight on her? No. Oh, okay. Right, go ahead and take it off. I don't think she likes that. Let's take it off. There Patrick. you go, step through. Do -do -do. Axel made a leash for guinea. <laughs> Patrick. Yeah, we Patrick. don't want to do that. One more screw here. <laughs> now try to pull that safe. So is it, is it all good? Ah, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, uh. Nope, nobody's getting this safe out of our tree fort. Okay, so we're gonna lock you in the safe. Oh wait, we have to show you a lot more things today. Never mind. So, what did you two find out? While I was working up here, I've been building this tree fort up here. See, I put this whole bottom fort in. Oh, and I did this right here. Look, real quick, before we tell them, get off real quick. Look out, look out, look. <laughs> I made a trap door right there. <laughs> so We're gonna put hinges and all that. So, so what did you two find out? They were doing some sleuthing. Both of us will tell it. While so I what we was did working, is we went and to man, Al's. they found something Then out. what happened next? We went into his house. So he lets then you come in his house? We looked, we like found a way to get into his house. Then we- uh -huh. Wait, 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 you broke into his house? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> we, like, asked That's not him. Cool. So if we <laughs> asked him, we were cold and we wanted to get, we at, we thought asked. of something to ask him, mm -hmm. so we knocked on the door and he said, come in. It was he said, like come the in? luckiest thing ever. Mm, wow. He said, look around mm. if you want. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what we did is we looked No, let me tell him something first. Picture. So, we found a piece of bark that was in thickness this long. Wow, thickness. No, I mean like, in, in thickness. No, thickness, like, sickness. you know a tree bark, like this bark? Uh-huh. You know how it's like that thing? Yeah, yeah. It was this thick. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. So, well, what else did you find, though? So, we were looking, and we found a picture when he was Oh, young. when I was younger? And, <gasps> and, and a bunch of pictures. Uh -huh. And guess what? What? We found a poo that was this big. It was huge. A poop? 
No! A shell! Oh, yeah. That was oh. huge. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, <laughs> and it looked, exa <laughs> it looked almost exactly like, um. It was basically DB Cooper. Yeah. Oh, oh, the sh the poo shell? No! <laughs> the fish when you I'm like, what kind of sleuths are y'all? Like, we went to his house and then we found a poo. <laughs> like a poo bear or what? I don't know what they're talking about. No, a picture when he was younger. Okay, a, a picture of Al when he was younger? Yeah, and it looked like DB. What? Cooper. Like DB Cooper? Yeah, it was okay. basically. This is exciting. It I was have to DB see this Cooper one without eyes, sunglasses. Though. Exactly. Okay, so so could you show me where the picture is? Wait, let's see if the color of their eyes are the same. Okay. So, could you show me where the picture is? Yes. Okay, so, I think we're gonna go pay Al another visit. You have to see the inside of Al's house anyways. He built this whole house by himself, and the center of the house is held up by a tree. Literally, a tree. It's really cool. We'll have to go have a look at it. I'm sure he'll let us look at it, and then maybe we can get a good look at that picture and see if it looks like D.B. Cooper. On our last episode, some of you may or may not remember, we were beginning to think that our neighbor Al might just be D.B. Cooper. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Let's go check out the picture, okay? Oh, 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 look, I got some ninja shoes. See that? Huh. They're pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, I forgot. We have our top secret DB Cooper files here. I need to put them inside of the safe. Oh, but oh, wait, oh, wait. I need to get the picture. Oh, DB Cooper out of here. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. There it is, right there. Okay. Fine. Right, I'm going to take this out. Then I'll put this top secret file in here. Go ahead and close that. There we go. Share the camera. Oh, we got marshmallows. Well, me and Darian share half of one. Okay, no, no, not right now. We're gonna have a special marshmallow roast tonight. I also what? got I also got chocolate. Alright, so More. let's go check out Al's house and let's see if that picture looks like DB Cooper. Come on, let's go. Wait, Daddy, take your phone. Take a picture of the picture in Al's house of DB Cooper. Oh, yeah, 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 I got my phone. We'll do that. That's a great idea. That's a good idea. All right. Ah. Okay. We're going to go see if we can find a picture of Al that they're talking about. Let's go. Okay. So we're here at Al's house. But this check this out, you guys. Look. Turn. This bar. Oh, oops. The Avengers Mobile is just falling apart. <laughs> the bar just broke off. Oh, that's not good. We need to fix that. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. Okay, so let's go see if Al is here, and let's see if he'll let us go inside and check out his house. Hey, Al. How you doing? Doing good. Cool. Well, we were wondering if we could see the inside of your house. They were saying they saw it earlier, but they have never seen the inside of your house. And I was thinking maybe they, they could see the tree that holds your house up in the middle. Sure. Can we see that? Yeah. All right, yeah, cool. took their own tour a little earlier. I know, that's what they, they said. told me my bed was dirty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it looked super dirty because it had these black specks everywhere. Well, <laughs> well, can we see everything but your dirty bed, okay? <laughs> so, this is the inside of Al's cabin. Now, Al built this cabin all by himself. Wait, well, maybe with a little help. Guys, Anybody help you? Guys, look. No, maybe, you know, like for an hour or two, lifting up wow. the beam out, but, uh. So Al built this cabin all by himself. So look, this is his hand railing here. It's a branch of a tree. Oh, that is that. so cool. Oh, wow, that is neat. That's an elk, right? That's an elk, but look, this is the tree that holds his whole house up in the center. It's a tree. This is so awesome. And Al, he found this in the woods here, this tree, and he brought it all the way here to hold his house up. And he has these other tree beams going across there. And see that part of the tree going all the way up to the top. It is so neat. This weighs nothing. Oh yeah, this is lava rock, I think. It weighs yeah. nothing. Oh my uh -huh, god. Full of holes and stuff. Oh, look at that skull. Is look that a that rat? That's a mouse. Uh, some kind of big, big mouse, a possum or something. I think that's a cat. Oh, a cat. Oh wow. Tearing down a barn. Huh? A barn cat. Look at those teeth. Look at that. Look at what? that giant fish. 
Oh, what is that? Is that another? That's it. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Come on, I want to show you something upstairs, Daddy. Okay. All right. They want to show me something oh, upstairs. Yeah. All right. And this, oh, this is uh, where we cook, where you cook your food, right? I do all my cooking. Yeah. This is his stove, his wood burning stove. You, you put wood in here, and um. And, and then you cook on the top here. Wood goes here. So, so you don't have electricity except your solar panels, right? Arc. Yeah, electricity Arc. from solar, from solar Daddy. panels. And but Daddy. water wheel in the winter. Water wheel in the winter, and, and he gets his water from a spring up there, runs through a pipe down to here, right? Daddy. That is so cool. That is awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. Bark. Oh, bark. Okay. Oh, yeah, bark. <laughs> Look, right there. <laughs> it's oh, awesome. That's a lever. <laughs> Come on up here. Okay. All right, let's see. What do we got up here? There we wow. Have. Come look at that skull deck. So that is the creepiest skull ever. Whoa. Check this out. That is, is that some, is that a dinosaur? <laughs> that is so crazy. And look, look. It's kind of look, related, brother. Look. What is that? A horse. Oh, it's a horse. Wow. Look at this giant. Oh wow, that is a big that poo show. A big Man. Oh, and <laughs> this is your that's wood burning stove. stove. That's the heating stove, yeah. The heating Work stove. Here. And this 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 uh, radiates heat in here to keep them warm. Wow. Okay, so this is the balcony. You can see down there. This is so cool. We're okay, getting a, a home uh, tour. Yeah. Aloe vera. Aloe vera, yeah. Uh, Whoa, a beaver skull? Yeah. That is so neat. Oh yeah, it's got the orange teeth there. That's that's from all the uh, I think iron. Tell Al the thing we saw last night. I don't know why they're orange. Tell Al. Oh yeah, yeah. What did we see? Tell him. What did we see? Last night. Owl. Last owl relative. Last night we saw an owl out in the middle of the road, and it had a rabbit. It was it was just perched in the middle of the road with a rabbit. And it was holding it, and the rabbit was trying to get away, but it had it in its talons. And then it, and then it sat there for a minute or two, and then it just, the owl flew away carrying the rabbit. Yeah, an owl, like not an owl. Rabbits, right? Yeah. Oh, look at uh -huh. that. Yeah. Look at that lamp. Daddy, Daddy, look. That's oh, bark. Wow. bark. Oh, look at that bark lamp right there. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, these are pictures here. Wow. Uh, Oh, okay. There's Al right there. Huh. That is neat. Wow. Is that your cabin? Those are the bark pictures. Oh, that's you when you were a baby? Where? Yeah. Well, right there in the middle. Oh, this is Al when he was a baby. Wow, that is so cool. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, this is his cabin right What's here. That, Daddy? Oh, is that you again right there? Oh, yeah. There he is again. Wow. Oh, that's you and your dad? Oh, cool. Oh, your solar panels. Can we see your solar panels? Okay, so, oh, this is Al's bed right here. That's where he sleeps. That is so neat. That bed's made out of trees. And come and look. That's the dirty. It doesn't look dirty to me. No, come on, you'll see. Now does it look dirty? Oh, that's just lint. That's just lint. Yeah, from the cat. <laughs> yep. Wow, this is such a neat. He has a beautiful view of the pond out there. Look at that. Man, there's the boat. Any pond monsters? You can see them from up here. Yep. First thing I do is look out for pond monsters. Yep. Uh huh. There you go. Oh, so this is Al's study here. Oh, these are his solar panels right here. That's where we're getting the electricity right now. Uh huh. So that's Summertime. where he, he gets his electricity from. Oh, and the other solar panels are right up. Is this a chest Yeah, I don't have those hooked up right now because I don't need them. Look more up there. Is this and a chessboard? Here's some more pictures, Al. Oh yeah, there's a picture of you. That's, that's me in about the 1970s. Wow. Are these cockies? There's Al right here. Look at that. That is him in, you said 1970? Uh, wow. Okay. And there's a lot of books here. Oh man. So, what is this right here, Al? 
That ladder? Where does that lead? It goes up to the third story. What's up there? Just storage. This is Storage? Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's unfinished on his Huh. It's Coisy? like an attic. Oh, okay. Coisy? That's neat. Sometimes. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And you can see the stairs from right here, too. Those are real old saddlebags. Oh, wow. Cool. That is neat. Very old. That does look really old. Huh. Is this a canteen? What is this? That's uh, binoculars. Oh. oh, binoculars. Al has some really cool old stuff here. Wow. Oh, look. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what was on all the clues. This is a book. P.M. P.M. He's got a book. P.M. That's really interesting. Hmm. It's a book that says B.F. Yeah, that's really interesting. Oh, look, right here. Well, I know what you can we see out to the pond again. So we'll this is the cabin that was originally here when Al bought the property. Hey guys, look, look at this hat. Ariel store. Is that Ariel Washington? Yep. Huh. That's really cool, a tavern. Oh, okay. All right, well thank you so much, Al, for letting us see your house. And it is awesome. And we're glad we got to share it with everyone else watching. Thank you. All right, well, we'll see you later. Have a good one. You oh, too. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Axel, let's go. Right. See you later. So, that was a really cool house, wasn't it? Okay, so did you see that picture in the office? Okay, do you remember that picture? Okay, I didn't get a picture of it because it felt it might be kind of strange if I took a picture of his picture, but we got it on camera so we can see it on camera right now. Oh my God. We need to compare it. It looked just like that, didn't it? It looked a lot like that. And did you see his hat, Ariel Washington? Ariel Washington, Ariel Washington, yes. That is where they thought D.B. Cooper landed. And that's where they searched the most, that town. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I think we need to go back to our tree fort. And we need to assess the situation and make a fire, okay? Daddy, what if Al put that lock on the school bus so we can get him because he thought mm. he knew there was, he put like secret information in it. Maybe. Did you see he had that attic up there? Yeah, and he, he was like, that's uh, he was just like, oh, that's, uh, he said secret, didn't he? He said junk. Okay. Oh, he said junk, okay. Well, I don't know. And he had those saddlebags too. A lot of mystery in that house. It was really neat exploring it. I thought it was really cool and full of mystery. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the tree fort, okay, and see what we yeah, can assess. Let's see Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, turn it off, come here. Oh my goodness, ah. Oh. The snake. I saw it crossing the road and we ran over it. So is he dead? It's dying. We might as well eat it. We might as well eat it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you ran right over its head. Look at that. That was literally. Yep. I w Ugh, that's sad. We I ran over this garter snake. Over this it. is the first garter snake we've seen this whole time. Let's hurry up and cut its, it's head off. It's in a lot of pain. Let's cut yeah, its head it's off. Good All right, cut its head off real quick, and then let's uh, and then we're gonna eat the snake. Yeah, that's a great idea. It's the first snake we're gonna eat of the season. All right, go ahead and cut its head off, okay? I'm not gonna show you guys. You probably don't wanna see that. Yeah, it's sad when things die like this, but actually, we can take advantage of it and we can go ahead and eat it. And, we, and its life won't be wasted, right? That's a big snake. Ah, that's not that big, but it's big enough to eat. All right, let's take it back. Even let's let's eat the snake and let's talk about Al and D.B. Cooper. All right, so I'm about to clean this snake. I'm gonna do it really fast so you don't have to see it. Might be kind of gross to some of you. The head is gone. All of the insides are out, but the snake is still moving. Isn't that crazy? You know what that is? Veins. No, it's, there's no veins. There's no. It's mm -hmm. all nerves. This is one gigantic spinal cord, basically. And there's so much going on in there. That's how snakes move around like they do, like, like that. And so there's so many nerves going all the way up and down there. 
and this is still moving around even though it's not alive you know not not alive like like uh like we would think of something to being alive it's still got nerves going on it though really interesting all right you got the firewood mm -hmm. okay hoist up the fire wood there we go hoist 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 up the fire we got this bucket right here full of firewood be Some careful firewood. oh there we go all right get that fire going What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, or I die. Axel, he's like, I don't want to come up the ladder. I want to come up here. Okay, so I had to take the whiteboard down because it was going to rain. So, uh, okay, nice. That's perfect. All right, so I got the files from what we recorded earlier pulled up on my computer. Let's check out this versus what we found there, okay? Before we eat some snake, all right? We got this fire going nice and good. Oh yeah, and we got some possum over here and some snakes. And we have marshmallows. <laughs> and we have marshmallows, yeah, but not yet. We gotta eat first. All right, so let's pull it up. Here it is, right here. There it is. There is a picture. Okay, look, he has dark hair. He has gray hair now, but he had dark hair then. Just like this person right here had dark hair. See them? Sunglasses, dark Wait, hair. See, it? see how the forehead receded hairline? See that on the forehead? Same thing right there. This is so crazy. Compare. Look Zoom at that. up on the face. Look at that. Right there. Zoom up on the face. Yeah, we're zoomed in right here. See? Look at that. See that? Look at that. Okay. This is really crazy. You guys, this is Wait, so Wait, what what crazy? What year did he say that was taken? 1970s. And what time? 1971 was when the plane hijacking took place. Oh my gosh. This is really crazy. Okay, so how do you feel? I feel kind of, uh, I feel honestly a little bit icky inside. Because I, I just, we, even though we have this, we can't know for sure. And because Al is such a good friend, like, I mean, I can't get it through my brain that he, like, could, could be, could, could, could be, could have done that. Yeah, it's so strange. Like, but maybe he's changed now, though. Maybe he was the kind of person that would have done something like that a long time ago. That was a long time ago. That was, oh, that was almost 50 years ago. Maybe he's changed. Maybe he's decided to live a different kind of life now. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Could Al be D.B. Cooper? I'm pretty sure. What do we do? I'm pretty sure he is. What do you do? What do you do if you if you feel something like this? Like, we don't want to accuse him of that. We couldn't do that, right? And it feels kind of gross even thinking of him as doing something like that. <sighs> Man. He is our friend, though. He's been nothing but kind to us. He's let us use his boat. He's let us play in his pond. He's always welcoming us, right? So what are we gonna do if it turns out he is D.B. Cooper? Like, he's been so nice and like, yeah. how can we just One turn him sure. into the FBI? Like. Well, maybe we should ask if he is, maybe we should tell him that he should come out and say who he is. I don't know. You know what? I'm whenever sure. a friend, whenever, whenever, you're sure what? I'm sure he would say no. You think he would say no? Well, yeah, that would yeah, be... Yeah, like, I want to admit to, like, something like that. Yeah. Well, the case is closed. The case is closed, so he could come out now, I think. And But, you know what? What? Whenever, whenever, whenever you have an issue with a friend, there's an old saying, you go to them. Right? You go to them. You don't let the daylight go down. So, um... I think, you know what I think we should do? I think that we should go and ask Al if he's D.B. Cooper. Just straight up ask him. Instead of, it feels so weird just having it like that. Today? Yeah. Today. Well, maybe we should do that next time. We, we have to leave now. Oh, good. I don't think we should do it right now. I 
think that we should wait and think. I'm not saying we should definitely do that, but I'm saying we should think about it. What do you think? Do you, do you think we should ask him? I have no. no clue. No. You don't think we should? No. What do you think? Would Actually, you ask Al? Maybe. If he was DB Cooper? I don't know. I just don't feel like I, I don't feel like we're being honest with him, right? And that's what I think that I have that icky feeling inside of me, is that we, like we went into his house and we didn't tell him we were looking for pictures of him. We didn't lie to him, but because we did want to look at his house, right? And we wanted to show you the inside of his house. But we also didn't tell him that we were looking for pictures of him. So I feel like continuing on like this is just being dishonest. I kind of feel like that. How do you feel? Do you feel like it's being dishonest? Think going on thinking that he's DB Cooper, but not telling him that we think that? You don't always have to tell everyone everything. In fact, it's not good to tell everyone everything sometimes. Sometimes. Why are you warming up your butt? <laughs> but sometimes, if, if you have a friend, you should probably talk to him about something if, you, if you're concerned <laughs> about something. So, I don't know. What do you think? Should we ask Al if he's DB Cooper? I, I don't know. know. I want to look at the clue again. So, in our safe here, we have, where is it? Oh, right here. Okay, but so this is the kind of stuff we want to keep in our safe here. And we have this $20 bill inside of here. It's, oh, oh, we have our gold coin here. And we have the $20 bill. I want to read the clue again. It says, it says, halfway there, I didn't make it easy. You know what to do, D. Cooper. But then look, it has this right here. Look harder. Look harder. Wait, did Al put the safe in the pond? No, the game master did. Remember? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if Al is the game master? Or Al is an agent of the game master? No, I've never thought of that. I don't think I've ever thought of that. No. I've never said that, I don't think. Could Al be? You have? You, I did, guess, no. you have? Oh, okay. Could Al be the game master? What if Al is the game master and DB Cooper? And <laughs> this is just too much. What does that mean? Look harder. Does that mean look harder at this? We were trying to Wait, read. Daddy, oh, yeah. This just daddy, said Phillips daddy, earlier. Daddy, daddy, hey, daddy, look, daddy, look, look. Daddy, what if Al is. Look, 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 look. Do you see that? What? It looks like there's something right there. <gasps> oh, there is. It could. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. The bill said, look harder. There is. And so I was looking at the bottle. Oh my God. Where's okay. the knife? Okay, get a knife, get a knife. Knife, 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 knife. Uh, oh, there's a knife. Okay, be careful, be careful. Be careful. Very careful. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a dollar bill. That's a dollar bill, that's a dollar, dollar bill. bill. I can see it. Like, I you can, can see. Like... Okay, I think we found another clue. Be careful with the knife. Wait, wait, let me try. Axel. Oh, don't hurt it. I think you got it though. Darian says he thinks it's a dollar bill. It looks like it. Like a 20, maybe? Oh, oh, the 20. Maybe it's the other half of the 20. Ooh. Ooh. All right, be careful, be careful. That's a 20, or a five, or oh. 20, yes. 20. Yep, it? it's the other half. Oh my gosh. Whew. The serial numbers come out. Oh my gosh, I'm out. getting goosebumps again. Okay. It says, <laughs> no. <laughs> we found the other half of the $20 bill. The serial number is cut out. Is it missing again? Yep. Let's see. You're right. It is missing again. Read Here, wait, 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 wait. Wait, but put it together. See, will it go together? Yeah, 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 Where's yeah, the other yeah. one? Where's the other no, one? No, real. Oh, it's yeah. in here. It's in there. Okay. All right, put it together. See if it is the other half. Let's see. Put it together. Let's see. Take it. All right, what? Yes, it does go together. Look at that. It's perfect. It is perfect. Well, watch Wait, this. So it that. says, not on, wrong United side. States. Wait, no, it says this note is legal. Tender for all debts, public and private. Why does it say this note is legal? Legal tender. That means that it's legal to use for exchanging. Legal tender. All right, what? let's That's read money. it. Come on, let's read it. Does it have a, oh, does the it have other a note? Side. So it says... Oh, don't let it fall in the fire. Oh my goodness. It almost fell in the fire. That would, that would be really bad. <laughs> I'd have been getting it out of there. 
so. What does Wait. it say? So. Does it say anything? Do you coo oh, that's the other side. What to do? Aerial falls. Aerial? Aerial falls. Aerial. Aerial falls. It says aerial falls. Aerial? Falls. No, 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 it says something else. Marble falls. Aerial, 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 like the hat. The hat we saw what in Al's house. Marble Ariel Falls. Washington. I think I heard something about Ariel Marble Washington. Falls. I heard something about Marble Falls. I Marble think it's an Ariel Falls. Ariel okay. Washington. Okay, so hold on. Wait, look harder. Look harder. We look harder. You guys, this is crazy. Ariel Washington. Look harder in Ariel Washington. That's where they looked. That's where the FBI looked and the military. I'm getting goosebumps. Do you see these goosebumps? Hey. I'm getting massive goosebumps here. Look harder, Ariel Washington. Look harder in Ariel Washington. That's where when D.B. Cooper jumped out of the plane with the money, he land, they estimate that he landed somewhere in Ariel Washington. Look harder in Ariel Washington, Marble Falls. Is there a Marble Falls there? Okay, okay, here's Ariel Washington. There's the lake. There's the lake. Marble. Marble? Yeah, Marble Creek. Oh, Marble Creek. There's a creek called Marble Creek right by Ariel, Washington. Good find, Axel. Nice work. Marble Creek, not Marble Falls. But that's too much of a coincidence. Maybe there's a waterfall in Marble Creek. I don't know. I don't know. All right, agents. Well, what do you think? Should we go to Marble Falls next, or to, to, to the creek in Ariel, Washington? Yeah. Okay. All right, agents. It looks like in our next episode, we are heading to Ariel, Washington. And maybe we'll ask Al if he's deep. No, we're going to sit on that for a little bit. I say let's sit on that. Let's see if we can find some more information. What do you think? You want to ask him? Yes, today. Today? Yes, 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 yes. Are you, are you, what are you burning? Axel. I was doing, Darian was doing don't it. Don't burn our top secret Darian evidence. Darian taught me how. Darian. He was doing it. Okay, well we could just print this out again, but we don't want to burn it. We need, we need this. Okay, well that looks kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Agents, Patrick. we have a lot Patrick. of crazy things happening right now. Patrick. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're trying to solve this D.B. Cooper Patrick. mystery. Who knows? So many questions now. Patrick. This is so exciting. No, don't do that. Don't burn our deal. Hey, we need to make our snake. Okay, you all. So this is the craziest thing. This snake is still moving. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's still moving. No, it's not. It's not now, but it was. As soon as I touched it to the fire, it started moving, but it stopped now. Because it did. That was so crazy. It is amazing how snakes work. No other animal would be moving like this if I had it on this skewer after you cut its head off. No other animal. This is so crazy. Snakes are amazing. They also taste amazing. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm. Snake dinner. Only third. Only That's one third. That's pretty good. One third. Fat. All right. You eat your third. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good, man. When you're hungry, man, that is good. If we were starving, is that all we, all we had to eat? Man, I haven't eaten in a long time. I'm really hungry. And this snake is delicious. It's so good. You know, we here in the United States, especially, we have food like plentiful. Mm hmm. But it wasn't always like this. No, it wasn't. And be thankful for what you can get. If all you had was a little bit of a snake to eat, man, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. For most of our ancestors in past history, life was a constant hunt for food. We're so thankful that we just get to have rabbit here, right? Yeah, <laughs> yep. This time. Mm. Oh, 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 yummy rabbit. <laughs> well, I thought it was possum, I don't know. <laughs> Something. Mm, it's a rabbit possum. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so what do you got going here on the whiteboard? Uh, DB Cooper sucks, suspects, suspects Al. Al. I'm gonna okay. put when kid look, look like DB Cooper. Okay. Alright. And then uh, we still need to interview Charlie. We got a lot to do, agents. Man, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited about this. All right, well, remember, 
We love you, we think you are so awesome, and we're so glad you joined us on this epic adventure. But remember, life is an adventure, and love is the key. Okay, so our next adventure should be popping up right now, if we've recorded it yet. So click on it, 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 click on it. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna go to Arrow, Washington, probably, probably. Click on the video if you see it popping up.